This is SBS World News with Li Lin Chin. Good evening. In just a few hours, Australians will know their political future, with vote counting underway on the East Coast in this year's federal election. After eight weeks of campaigning, debates and controversial claims on party policy, Malcolm Turnbull and Bill Shorten are now waiting to hear who will lead the nation. But independents and smaller parties are expected to be influential, regardless of who forms government. Shortly, I'll be speaking to Daniela Ritorto, who is at Liberal Party headquarters in Sydney, and to Brooke Boney, now at Labour HQ in Melbourne. But first, here is how Election Day unfolded. Their campaigns have finally come to a close. A packed crowd awaiting Malcolm Turnbull and wife Lucy in Sydney's eastern suburbs. Green tea in hand, the Liberal Party leader meeting the younger members of his Wentworth electorate. Oliver and your Will. Will. The tea swapped for two crucial pieces of paper. There was no big speech, just the restating of his campaign promise. There has never been a more exciting time to vote for stable majority coalition government and an economic plan that secures our future. A quiet day for one leader, a busy day for another. Bill Shorten started his day by heading out to two marginal seats in Sydney's west before heading to the CBD. The Labor leader hoping to take more than a bite out of the coalition's lead. We are ready to govern. We are ready to implement our policy agenda for the Australian people. We are ready to serve. Two of Australia's most powerful female politicians teamed up in their home state of WA. Confident Mr Turnbull will retain power. He is certainly acting in the best interests of all Australians and our policies will provide security and prosperity for Australia. The final news poll showed the coalition clinging on for a narrow victory. In two-party preferences, the coalition was ahead of Labor, 50.5% to 49.5%. Head to head, Mr Turnbull was at 48 points for better PM, Mr Shorten behind at 31. Despite new Senate voting laws, crossbench chaos is expected to continue. Party support showed almost a quarter of voters backing either the Greens, a micro-party or independents. Both parties set for big losses in South Australia as the Nick Xenophon team takes centre stage. It's almost all over Bar the County. The Greens also hoping to gain a stronger foothold in both houses, buoyed by winning a key Melbourne seat. We have uh, one of our, I think, best chances of making serious breakthroughs though here in Batman. It will be tight, it's going to be a nail biter. The no Greens way. leader though avoided major embarrassment after forgetting his ID at a Melbourne polling booth. I do, but it's in the car, I have to go back and get it. <laughs> embarrassment avoided, but frustration inevitable due to long queues at many polling booths. I've voted here for 20 years. I've never seen such a long queue. It was kind of a surprise when we came and saw this long queue. We've been here about 10 minutes, um, but I mean, there's a sausage sizzle. Uh, it's, it's not the end of the world, really. The traditional sausage sizzle, as always, proving the election day saviour. At this North Sydney school, a string performance soothed the waiting woes. But not to be outdone in Graindler, a Labor stalwart hit the decks. While the age-old saying every vote counts is very accurate in Australia, it's even more accurate if you're in a marginal seat. Of the country's 25 most marginals, 11 are in New South Wales, including here in Reid. If Labor claims enough of these seats, it is a chance to win. If not, the coalition will likely hold on for another term. It's a really important electorate. But the party, Labor Party needs to win 21 seats to win government, so every seat's important. More than 15 million Australians were eligible to vote today, with close to 4 million estimated to have pre-polled. It could take up to a month for all votes to be fully processed. So, after a marathon 56-day campaign, it's time for the final countdown. Omar Dubaj, SBS World News.